So Malefin Tseki has just named his Bafana Bafana squad uh, for the first time as interim coach of the national team after Stuart Baxter's departure. Um, must say, very impressive press conference, uh, very well spoken uh, as a former teacher. Uh, you'd expect nothing less. Um, but in terms of the overall discussions held, uh, the manner in which he answered the questions, uh, I must say I was, was very impressed. Um, he dealt with uh, some, some tricky questions quite well and he just spoke openly and, and very transparent in, in, in his, the way he sees things. Um, as he was announcing his squad, he gave a brief explanation of, of each uh, selection that could bring up question marks. Uh, he addressed the fact that uh, Tata Mokeke, though he was playing as a midfielder, he had a chat with Benny McCarthy and he felt he'd, he'd come in as a defender. Uh, we all know Mokeke is a, a versatile player as is, so that was very nice. I think uh, the omissions, of course, of, of the likes of Temba Zwane, um, Mshishi, uh, Klompo Kekana, uh, Sibuksiso Vilakazi, all guys who were, who were part of the AFCON squad and, and played uh, key parts in, in all the matches at, uh, in Egypt. Uh, he, he did explain that he was leaving a, a couple out, not because they were bad or because he felt they, they weren't worthy, uh, but because he, he considered the fact that some guys have obviously played a lot of uh, football over the, the past few months, uh, Sundowns particularly in the, in the CAF Champions League for the past four or five seasons. Uh, so he did explain a lot in, in terms of, of what can be expected of this team and what he expects as a, as a national team coach. He mentioned, he touched on the fact that He's been in the in the national setup for or in the football setup for, for almost 21 years since back in 1998. So he's really uh, graduated uh, through the the ranks uh, as you would expect uh, from from someone to to lead a, a senior national team. Uh, I think he's he's definitely earned his stripes. And, and by the way, he talks cool and calm. You can see he's he's been in this situations before. He knows how to handle himself and he knows how to play himself uh, to the media and, and the fans as well. So very excited to see what he, he can produce in his first match against Zambia on September 7 uh, and will allow the results to speak uh, for themselves afterwards.